Hey guys, let's talk about tonight's episode of Arrow. And we start off this episode with a flashback to six months ago when Oliver Queen dressed up as um, Arrow saved a woman. And it turns out that she is the woman that we saw at the end of last week's episode. And she was a former cop and she's kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> and she starts stalking Oliver, well, more like the Arrow. And when they... They, meaning uh, Oliver and Diggle, go to this woman's home. It is full out uh, stalker um, <laughs> home. This woman has all these news clippings of the arrow. She's got a heart shaped um, dre like dresser. She's got arrows everywhere. She's crazy. And she also is the one who killed Isaac from last week's episode. Um, so she's basically stalking Arrow and she does a really good job of being creepy in this episode. Um, but that being said, she didn't really, I don't know. I don't think she really impacted the show in as a whole, like, like the, the grand scheme of this episode. What she did do is, uh, raise the point that Oliver can't be in a relationship with anybody. He is going to be alone and that's just how it's going to be. And of course, this is all very um, tied into Felicity. And we all know a few episodes ago, Oliver and Felicity kissed. And then um, at the end of the episode, basically because he loves her, but he has to let her go because she's not safe if she goes out with him. So... Now, in this week's episode, it's all about Ray Palmer and Felicity Smoke. And um, he asks her to, uh, to accompany her on a dinner date, a business date, uh, strictly platonic, to help him close this deal. And it's all very pretty woman, if you ask me. Um, when Julia Robert goes out with uh, Richard Gere and they try to take this man's business away from him. And of course, Julia Roberts is absolutely adorable at the table and everybody falls in love with her. So that's exactly basically what this episode did with Felicity. And I do enjoy Felicity, but I think we're going a little heavy on everybody loves Felicity. So we have Barry loves Felicity, we have Oliver loves Felicity, we have Ray loves Felicity. <laughs> it's a bit much. And, you know, I do enjoy Felicity's character, but sometimes it's you know, she's so sweet, she's so this, and it's like, okay, we get it. She can do no wrong, um, but it's a little heavy-handed at times, and I found it a lot in this episode. I mean, we start off the episode with her seeing um, Ray working on a salmon ladder in his office, and she says, oh, I obviously have a type, and that's obviously um, referring to Oliver and now Ray. And, um, you know, we get some really cute scenes with... Um, uh, Felicity and Ray and I, I, don't get me wrong I do believe that they work and I believe that they have chemistry so all of that is going for them in this episode and in episodes prior to this so this was definitely inevitable that they would go out on this date and that they would hit it out of the park and that he would want to kiss her at the end of the episode which he does um, what we also got in this episode was a lot of brooding Oliver and you know, the typical, well, if I can't have you, nobody else should have you either because he's, you know, he wants her back in the lair so that she's doing stuff for him and not going on on this dinner date with Ray. And it's a little like, dude, you spoke, she heard you, she's moved on. <laughs> it's like, what do you want her to do? Just pine after you? Typical, right? Um, but no, Felicity explains this very clearly to Diggle who comes to see her and she's he's all like, you know, Oliver's all tied up in knots because you're going out on this date with Ray and his head's not in the game and you know how dangerous that can be. So it's like, so if something happens to Oliver and now it's my fault or should I say Felicity's fault because he can't get his head in the game. I'm telling you, these men, whatever. So yes, Felicity basically tells Diggle, beat it. And that if Oliver really feels this way, he should be the one to come tell her and at the end of the day, he already said his piece, and now I'm moving on. So I'm talking a lot about this because it was really heavy-handed in this episode, the amount of moments where uh, Oliver was jealous, and then ultimately when 
he's talking to this crazy woman and Felicity's overhearing the conversation in the earpiece that he's going to be alone and that he can't be in a relationship. And it's like, beat me over the head with this. <laughs> we get it. Um, and then of course, Diggle then says to Oliver, look, dude, you know, you want to be with her. And he's like, well, I just want her to be happy. And Diggle's like, well, if you, if you really mean that, then you'd be with her. And so of course, Oliver goes to Queen Consolidated or Queen, that's what it's called, right? Queen Consolidated. Now uh, Palmer's uh, Inc. or whatever, Ray Palmer has just um, announced the new um, logo and everything. Um, so he goes to the offices to see Felicity at the exact moment that Ray is planting a nice juicy kiss on her. Um, of course, Ray gave um, Felicity a diamond necklace, wink, wink back at um, a pretty, pretty woman. And it's just obviously on loan. It's like a $10 million necklace that he puts around her neck. So um, when he's taking it off, he kisses her and he's all like, oh, I'm so sorry. I meant this just as a, I didn't, you know, I wanted this to just be platonic and she looks like she's ready to do more, but he basically backs off. So there you have it. Felicity is now um, probably going to move on from Oliver, which I think is a good thing. Um, Ray, I think, didn't really want to cross the line, but how could he help it, right? She was in that beautiful blue dress, dripping in $10 million of diamonds, and of course she's Felicity, so <laughs> who wouldn't want to kiss her, right? And Oliver walks in and immediately walks out as soon as he sees it. Um, so, you know, Oliver's going to beat himself up, I'm sure, for a few episodes because he's let the love of his life go. Well, it is what it is. Um, we got some other flashbacks to Hong Kong in this episode, and I don't know, guys, this, these flashbacks really aren't doing much for me. Uh, they really started off well with the island and where, all, where that took us. So right now, I'm kind of bored when we go to these flashbacks. I get it. There's, you know, this relationship that's going on between him and his, his sidekick. You know, Argus basically owns him. And in this episode, his wife and Oliver fear that he's been killed because he said he was going to be back in an hour and now it's nine hours so they go to the docks to see if they can find him then they find out that the triad has killed three of um Argus's people so they assume he's dead they come back to the home he's not dead him and his wife make out Oliver feels uncomfortable he leaves I don't know what more I can say we didn't really get much more going forwards we did see that the wife is a kick-ass fighter which was really cool to see um, and obviously Oliver didn't know that either. He was like, you're just a wife. And she's like, you're just a billionaire. So look at what I can do, which was kind of cool. Um, now let's get us to the end of this episode where of course we are now introduced to a new baddie, um, which I am very happy about because once again, we have a new arrival and he is, uh, from my, uh, oh, show that I loved so much, Spartacus. All these bad guys on this show are from Spartacus, I tell you. So of course, um, he is, I, I mean, I don't know exactly who he's gonna play. Please don't tell me, no spoilers here. I'm somebody who's not read the comics, so I know everybody's dying to tell me who he is, but he has this knife that looks like a boomerang, and he throws it at this guy who I believe looked like he was the same gentleman in Hong Kong is that true I don't know if that he kind of resembled the guy when the wife had the knife up to his throat and was like where's my husband I'm not sure correct me if I'm wrong um so he th he, he throws the boomerang knife at him and it gets him in the back and he basically says that's the thing about our people that you it, they all, it, whatever you do always comes back to get you in the end, right? So I guess this is his way of saying he's coming back for some revenge. Um, so that's cool. But as you all know, my Amanda Waller was also on Sparty, Spartacus. And of course, so was our one-eyed man who's now locked up in on the island. Um, he is obviously an alum from Spartacus, which makes me very happy because I absolutely love that series. Um... So, yeah, oh, and also, um, what, what's her name? Raza Ghoul. Was it Raza? No, Nisa. Raza Ghoul. <laughs> Nisa was also from Spartacus. So, anywho, that's my little uh, walk down memory lane there. Um, so, it was also the other thing that was kind of cool in this episode was at the end, Ray Palmer looks like he's putting together some uh, pretty cool. 
I don't even know how to describe it. Not, it's not obviously something like a costume, like what um, Oliver wears, but it looked more like, um, like, like, I don't even know how to describe it. All I know is it looks like he's building something um, where, you know, you can put it on and you can cover up your identity. Um, but it's not like a costume. It's more like armor kind of thing. So anyways, that looks like it's going to be cool. Um, the stuff that didn't really work for me in this episode was Thea opening up her new um, Club Verdant and the new DJ. Whatever. I don't know. She goes to pay him and he kisses her and he's like, yo, you know, you can forgo paying me. Whatever. I, I just, it didn't really work for me. But really, not a lot of things that Thea does works for me. Except for when she's fighting in these new um, episodes as of late. So, all right, guys, let me know what you thought of this week's episode. I didn't mind seeing Oliver, you know, basically get his heart shattered because he is the one who ultimately pushed Felicity away. Um, Diggle really didn't do much in this episode except walk around saying, Oliver, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? Um, <laughs> and then of course we had Speedy or shall I say Arsenal. Um, he, he was in a mood in a state in this week's episode. He didn't really do much either. He got his ass whooped by, um, the Cupid chick and, um, he was feeling pretty bad about it. So at the end of the episode, Oliver and him went over to Diggle's house for some eats and, uh, yeah. That's about it for Ray. For Roy, I should say, not Ray. Sorry. Um, okay, guys, that's it for me now. Let me know what you thought of this week's episode, and I'll see you next week. Bye.